what exactly are you doing to treat these food allergies? Right. And kids, you're doing something that I think a lot of parents might be nervous about. What we do, and this has to be done in a hospital setting with well-trained individuals, you start with specks of flour of that food. First, you have to define that that person's actually allergic to that food. And okay, that so let's say I have a peanut of, allergy. Exactly. What would you do for me? We, st we do have a food challenge where we actually prove that you have peanut allergy. Then we start with minuscule amounts, that basically specks of flour in a dish, and we give that to you. And every two weeks, you come back into the clinic, and we updose you, as it were. And you go from basically specks of flour to an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon to about a, a peanut teaspoon. peanut dust, really. A peanut dust. Uh -huh. And then you go up to basically about a quarter of a cup. Then maybe you go to a cup later on. But that takes over three to four years to do sometimes. Wow. And that's called desensitization. Now, there are a lot of doses in between, and everything's customized to the individual to make sure that it's safe. But again, we're giving back the food that people are allergic to. And so there's a lot of anxiety about it. There are reactions, and we need to be very careful. So this shouldn't be done in a private allergist office. But have you found it to be effective? We did two different trials, one that was what the standard way that I just talked about with the desensitization, but another in which we gave this other molecule called anti-IgE to make this go from two years to basically about a six-month period. Wow. And so those are the subjects that Melanie talks about in the article in and fact, that you care about. Yeah, and you mentioned, Melanie, uh, you wrote this piece, and your toddler, Karen, suffers from food allergies, and he started one of Dr. Kari's trial last year. How scary was it? First of all, what is he allergic to? What happens when he eat, consumes those things, and how scary was it? He's allergic to eggs and nuts, and um, he had gone into anaphylactic shock when he had tiny traces of those. Um, he had been hospitalized four times where he gets covered with hives and stops breathing, and we have to use the EpiPen to revive him. So you decided to enroll yes. Kieran into one of these clinical trials. So basically, he was getting some of the food that initially made him sick. Was that nerve-wracking? Oh, the, doing the first food challenge where he has to eat the food that has poisoned him is so frightening. And our, our first food challenge to Cashew actually went very badly. Um, he went into anaphylactic shock, and they had to use the EpiPen in the hospital. And then I thought, um, OK, that's it. We, we're not going to be in this treatment. We don't want to be the canary in the coal mine. And then. I realized, no, 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 we're, we're living in the coal mine. I remember that night my husband said, I think meeting Kari and getting this treatment is one of the luckiest things that's ever happened to us in our lives. So he's doing well? He's doing amazingly well. So a year later, um, he now eats the equivalent of two peanuts, two cashews, two almonds, two hazelnut, and egg every single day. We feel that we've been emancipated from the allergy life.